The support of those near and far became a source of optimism for those flood victims. Billy Graham once said, comfort and prosperity have never enriched the world as much as adversity has. We've seen plenty of division lately here in the United States. Tonight we look back at how the flood brought people together. It happened in a flash. An all too familiar story here at home. My dad is crashing against the door. I don't want to tell you to. That simple toothbrush, toothpaste, just simple things you take for granted. The images and interviews serve as a painful reminder. I mean, you had barely time to blink how fast it was. Uh, as bad as it was, you think, well, it could have been worse. You're shook up. I am. Of just how quickly our lives can change forever. And had to climb on stuff to breathe, so he knocked a hole in the ceiling so that we could stick our heads up to breathe. However, through the murky water's remnants emerged opportunity. Brought it in a, a bag or an item at a time. Pretty impressive. Johnson Central High School turned into a central hub of hope. I just recently had a man come in and go, I have nothing. I just need some food to eat. I'm starving. From volunteers hoisting water to government agencies offering assistance, for a moment, we regained our faith in humanity. No specific goal. I think, uh, you know, if we could help one person, then uh, we're sharing God's love through that, and uh, that's what we're all about. Strangers joined to help with the cleanup. Victims paid it forward by offering free meals. Donations poured in to provide a future for those victims. I get a little emotional thinking about what these guys did tonight and what you have done. It's just been amazing to see all this come together in one week's time. In that brief time, little else mattered. County lines disappeared and a benefit concert raised thousands of dollars. Our faith and heritage helped us find the good in one another. The Johnson County, Kentucky's the only place I want to be. A tragedy taught us to once again love thy neighbor.